Welcome back. I chose one of my sketches to keep working on in the first part of my video. And now we move to the second part of the video, which involves detailing the sketch and then start to lay out the general color until I'm satisfied. Let's go to get it. After determining the sketch to be paint, I will first start to define details of the initial sketch, including the shape of the clouds in the background, the ruins in the middle ground, the grass in the foreground, and the pose of Kiki. I won't finish the detail in this step. I basically have to revise the details again after the coloring is done. This step is to figure out some details that I didn't I didn't think clearly before and to make them as uh, reason, reasonable as possible. Then I make the shape of the ruins a little more defined. Make the size variation between these ruins a little more interesting. Okay, 
here I adjusted the shape of the angle of the flying ship to make it look uh, less boring. Again, I change uh, the Kiki's pose. I think sitting pose is uh, easy to mix the, with the middle ground. I like to paint clouds because they have many different shapes. But, uh, is, but uh, it's easy to overemphasize their existence. So I try to keep them loose. I also like to paint ruins because they give me a sense of real quality. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do at each step. I would, I would paint in the middle scene a while, and maybe change the shape of the character and modify a bit here and there. Just when I saw there or something, I'm not satisfied with. Then I started to create a new layer to start laying color. I'm used to laying color with the uh, overlay, overlay mode. In my opinion, it's uh, easier to control the color.
I set this to be a sunny day because it was the first video I'm and I didn't want it to be too risky. It's not easy to make mistake on a sunny day. Then I will create a new layer for each object in the scene so that I can adjust the position and size later without affecting the surrounding stuff. Here I use the largest brush as possible as I can to modify some larger color areas because some part of the overlay layer are still not the exact color that I want especially the clouds if I use too much color mixed the clouds will look dirty then I use the color balance to change the color of the sky to see if there are uh, um, other options.
Then I roughly proceed the grass in the foreground to hint the material at the ground. Then made the shape of the rocks a little more defined as well. working on the ruins in the middle ground a bit to make the edge of the moss a bit more clearly. change the color of the flying ship so that it will absor absorb the colors of the sky and the bouncing light from the ground. Finally, I modify the shape of the tiki roughly to make it silhouette and the shape of the ruins behind her more interesting together. <laughs> 